Owen here with Seek Outside. So today I want to teach you guys how to lift and lower your tents, uh, specifically the ones with line lock extensions on them. Um, so if you don't know how to use line locks, uh, go ahead and find the video linked up here. And um, yeah, let's get to it. So the main idea with raising and lowering your tent is that it's going to help with condensation. Uh, airflow underneath the tent helps a ton. Um, so it's going to involve raising and lowering your tent. For example, I have this tent set at 50 inches, whether it be a Cimarron or a, or a Silex or an Eolus or whatever it is, um, you're going to have to lower it an inch or two. So we're going to lower these poles um, and then we are going to bring it closer down to the ground. It's great for use with a stove. Um, or if you're just trying to keep out the weather um, and vice versa, you can raise it up, kind of raise out where those stakeout points are. If you're trying a summer camp and you want some more ventilation, so um, let's get to that. So we're gonna wanna lower this on this specific tent uh, about two inches. Um, so we're gonna go in here, grab this trekking pole that we have it set up with, and we're going to lower it down two inches, um, so five centimeters. Um, so we're gonna bring that one down. Go ahead and bring that one down. Um, so we are now at 48 inches tall with this pole here. We're gonna go ahead and put that back in the tent. Like so. You see a little bit smaller there. We have a little bit more slack already. Um, so now just doing that in its own brought us down a little closer to the ground. Um, what you can also do is you can move this stakeout point in just the smallest amount. Go ahead and hammer that in with the trusty rock. And then we go up here. Um, I'm just gonna tension this more. Bring this down just even more. And we are down on the ground right now. Um, so the same thing is gonna apply if we go over to the side stakeout loops. Um, since we've lowered this, we're now gonna need to lower this right here. So let me show you how to do that. On the sides here, we're gonna bring them down um, and I'm gonna show you how to go ahead and do that. Um, we're gonna move the stake in a little bit. Um, you can do a few things. If, if you have enough slack, which we don't right now, you can just pull this line lock in. Um, but the best way to do both of these things is pull this out of the ground. Give yourself just a hair bit of slack. Make sure this is at a 45 degree angle so that the cordage is going down towards the ground. Um, and then you're gonna just pull on this line lock, tension it all the way down, and we are on the ground there. Um, so that is kind of how you're gonna bring it down so you don't have any issues with weather um, or really a whole lot of heat escaping your tent. And then you just do the exact opposite to raise your tent and have less condensation issues. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys now can uh, bring your Cimarron light, Redcliffe light, Silex, Eolus, whatever it is, um, down to the ground a little bit closer, seal it off or raise it up so you don't get heated out of your tent in the summer days um, and you have good condensation control. So anyways, um, if you guys want to, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment if you have any questions. Have a great day.